Rose and welcome back to my channel. So for this video today we are doing about how to escape the void. This void is pretty much the dark night of the soul, depression, anxiety, whatever that may be for you. This is a video on how to escape that. So if you are in a very dark place right now, this would be the video for you. It's about insight into why you may be in the void, energetically, what may be the situation, and how to get yourself out. This is definitely a self-help reading, so if that tunes to your soul, please continue watching. So we have five piles today. We have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, and pile number five. So go ahead and choose a pile based off of your intuition and whatever resonates with your soul. All right, all right, all right, my loves. So I hope that you have chosen and let's go ahead and get into the reading. So I just realized I don't really have a place to put these, but let me just go ahead and one, whoop, flew away, two, Ooh, this one's spicy. Three. And four. Okay, now that we have all those there, we will start off with pile number one. So if you chose pile number one, this is your reading. So starting off with this unicorn card, this is just going to be the type of energy that may be wanting to be released or coming in, we will know based off of the card. So we have Unicorn Swap. So this is pretty much meaning that you guys are being very mean to yourselves, especially when you guys mess up or you have emotions that you don't really want to deal with. So especially if when you were young, people kind of made you feel bad for even feeling or having emotions. That type of negativity is surfacing once again as these things surface every now and then in your life. Even when you know you do your best to be exactly where you want to be, you're still going to experience this stuff. So let's go ahead and target why this is coming back up and how we can release it. So we're going to start off with your tarot cards. I have two different tarot decks today as I wanted to get as much energy into the reading so we can do our best to release. And break free! Okay. We have the Five of Cups in reverse. So yes, definitely depression here, you guys, is what I'm getting upon number one. It is in the process of being released is what I'm getting here. Because it's the Five of Cups in reverse. For me, reversals mean that energy is being released, not that energy is being kept. Okay, we have the Two of Cups upright and the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, let's pull one last card, see if we can fit it in this reading. We have the Six of Wands, okay. Make way, make way. That's what I'm getting with that card. So you guys are definitely in a place where you're moving, you're moving up and you're becoming more stable in life. But it is definitely a period in time where there's a lot of doubt, especially in regards to this. All right, let me reset the energies of these cards before I start. Not the best of shuffling, but that's okay. Alright, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Wands in reverse. The Prince of Swords, or the Knight of Swords in reverse. And one last card, please. Scooching on over. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. So a lot of reversals. But remember, this is energy being released, and I will get into why these are actually very good cards here. 
So with the Five of Cups in reverse here, you're releasing depression and anxiety. This definitely has to do with a circumstance in your life not going the way that you had hoped, especially financially. So if that is the case, continue watching. So with this Two of Pentacles here, you are trying to find a balance in your life. You are trying to find balance in your finances, in your career, in your job, in your home life, in your love life, in your personal life. There's so many things going on right now where you guys are trying to find balance. And because the Two of Pentacles is upright, this balance you've been searching for, you are now starting to actually implement. So instead of searching for it outwardly, you're now searching for it inwardly. And this is what's helping release a lot of this depression. And with the Queen of Cups here, this depression rose up due, a, due to a lack of connection with your feminine energy. Now, this doesn't mean that, you know, you haven't been working with it, but even sometimes when you work with it, especially through frequencies and affirmations, if you do not set the intention truthfully within yourself, there will be a disconnect. This could also be due to the full moon that has just happened so also be aware of how the moon has been affecting you so if you feel this is due to the moon very cleanse the area around you as this is what's affecting you so definitely cleanse your room cleanse the energy around you and it will help cleanse the energy within you because you guys are so determined to heal yourself so you're definitely releasing a lot but understand that during this release, it may take time to release fully, and it will be a really, really hard thing to get through. Depression is never easy to get through. There is no such thing as just get over it. And with the Six of Wands here, my first thought was, make way, make way. And it actually really goes very well with the rest of this reading, as you're releasing a lot of old negative energy especially energy that may have resurfaced due to the full moon. So with this six of wands, you guys are actually making way for your abundance and prosperity by getting through this depression now. Even if it may suck and even if it may be very intrusive, this is happening because your energy is making way for the abundance and prosperity coming into your life. So if there's ever been a situation, especially financially, if it's been weighing down on you, realize that things had to happen so you could release this energy so once this energy is fully released you will start to feel a lot better and then this kind of feels like affirmations as to why you should be proud of yourself at this time and then we will get into the actual release itself and with this ace of pentacles in reverse this is saying that right now there's going to be a slight delay in terms of future financial abundance, though this doesn't mean that you're not going to receive it. Give it a week and it will start to flow in naturally, but just give it a week at this time. With this two of wands here, another thing I'm getting is that you guys are on the right track, but what is very much needed right now is that you need to connect with your angels, do affirmations, positive thoughts, even though it's a really hard time right now to affirm to yourself that you're on the right track. You have not wandered away from your angels or your purpose. It's just that energy is being released and you just need to acknowledge that within yourself and release any doubt and fear. With this Prince of Swords or the Knight of Swords in reverse, this is saying that you guys, your process, the, the process, the process, your mind right now can be going at a million miles per hour, though that is going to come to an end, as a lot of this mental chatter is actually releasing a lot of energy that was trapped within your crown chakra. So even though it may feel very overwhelming now, work with your crown chakra, and once you do, a lot of this stuff will release a lot smoothly, smoother. <laughs> So definitely connect with your crown chakra to help with that constant With this six of pentacles here in reverse, what I'm getting is that there was an imbalance of giving and receiving at some point. It could be financial, but there was definitely an imbalance that happened. And if you felt any resentment towards a person, 
while you may while you are valid in how you feel definitely acknowledge within yourself where that energy came from because it takes two to tango and it takes two to give and receive so figure out energetically or even subconscious programming that caused you to give more than you are receiving Whew, that was a lot all right now how do we escape from this void angels how do they escape from this void five of swords the queen of swords and the ace of pentacles so the literal message i'm getting here is let it play out and that is normally not a message i want to give to anybody but with the five of swords and the queen of swords here what i'm getting overall is that you guys have to acknowledge the fears and doubts and worries within yourself so then once you acknowledge them you can work through them and become stronger than your doubts, your worries, and your fears. So what, I, what I'm getting here is that there was a seed that was planted by angels, and this is why you're going through this now. But this seed right now is beneath the ground, and it hasn't quite realized yet, you know, the sun and all this type of stuff. It hasn't sprouted yet fully. So the reason why you feel like this is because currently you're beneath the dirt, but you are literally within moments of sprouting above the dirt and finally feeling the sun. So finally finding that happiness, that calmness, that peace that you've been searching for. So just give yourself this time to let this energy play out. Uh, I would honestly suggest drinking some tea to calm yourself down uh listening to some positive affirmations especially based on self-love and self-care work with your feminine energy a lot of this has to do with letting the energy obviously you know go go through the motions but take care of yourself as you're going through this time as with depression it can very easily turn dangerous for any person so make sure you're constantly there for yourself continue fighting for yourself because you are definitely worth it. Okay, so your void is going to end sooner than you think. I would honestly say give it... For some of you guys, it's going to be a week. For some of you guys, it's going to be a few weeks. But in those, whatever it may be, it's not that it's going to be intense for that period of time. It's just that each day is going to slowly but surely get easier for you however this resonates with you. Okay, so we're gonna pull one message from here. This is very blunt messages for you guys. Uh, I do. I will be reading reversals for these, so if there's something really like awful that it has to say to you and it's in reverse, it's actually saying the opposite. So let's go ahead. Also, in terms of this Ace of Pentacles, what I was also getting from that is that once you get through this period of emptiness this void you will be setting stronger foundations for yourself in the future especially financially and also mentally so you no longer have to go into this void the way you have recently i'm getting the term fail safe so you guys are definitely going to have fail safe experience fail safe for yourself now all right so one card please one card from this beautiful rebel deck i just realized i've never put my decks in the description so we will go ahead well i will do that um today it says it will lie to your face so this void right now is lying to your face whatever negativity it's trying to push onto you it's all a lie you guys are amazing and bright and loving and you are divine love you are an extension of source so definitely always remember that and know that this depression this anxiety this void is lying to you okay <laughs> we have chew gum so chew gum is also about the throat chakra so also connecting with that would be good 
but also just chewing gum may help you release some stress. Whenever I get really stressed out, I like chew gum and I bite it as if I'm like trying to bite someone's arm off and it helps quite a bit actually. Okay, I only wanted one more, but we got two. Enjoy alone time. So definitely enjoy time alone. This is not a period of time where you need to spend it with a whole lot of friends. Obviously have your support group near you, make sure that they're keeping up with you, but don't force yourself to do things that you don't wanna do as this energy will go away in time. It's just gonna take time. <laughs> and we have respect. Respect is about respecting yourself, respecting your own boundaries, respecting your own needs, respecting your your foundations. Your like this is very much about respecting yourself. Because when you're depressed, you start falling out. You start not taking care of yourself. You start speaking negatively to yourself. So definitely take ownership and respect yourself. All right, so what self-care can you guys do to help you escape this void? Uh, this is something that you would want to do during the duration that you're in the void to help you speed up this process. Uh, you don't have to be in the void for as long as I said. It could really just be a day as well. But it's about the work you do now to get yourself out of there. Okay, we already have one flying out. We have hydrate, so definitely drink some water, you guys. Drink some water. That's very, very important. We are not drinking enough water. Your body actually does act out through through your emotions. Whenever I don't drink enough water, I start getting really like depressed and sad, and I'm like, oh wait, all I gotta do is just drink some water. So remember to hydrate during this period of time. It may not, you know, help you immediately through this void, but no staying hydrated will help you in the long run, so please do so. All right, my loves, I love you all. If this resonated with you, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading or guidance on a personal or life goal, I will have that in the description. And if you want to donate to the channel, um, that would be greatly appreciated, though it's not expected of you. All right, my loves, I love you all, and have a good rest of your day. Bye. Hello, pile number two. So if you chose pile number two, this is your reading. All right, pile number two, let's start with the unicorn card. Uh, so for this card, was it in reverse? I can't remember. So I will be reading reversals for the unicorn cards. So if it is in reverse, this is just about an energy that needs to be released or an energy coming into your life, we will figure it out with the reading. And we have retarget in reverse. So let's figure out why it is in reverse. So starting off with your tarot cards. Okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have a Nine of Swords in reverse. The Five of Swords in reverse. So the song is playing in my head is where you are in Moana. And the Nine of Wands in reverse. So from what I'm getting here is with this retarget in reverse and every other card coming out in reverse, what I'm getting is that something may have happened where something you've been working towards is not is not bearing the fruit that you thought it would. Now, this doesn't mean that you guys are on the wrong track or like that. It just means that a bit more work needs to go into this. So with retarget and reverse, this is actually saying don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on your passion. Don't give up on what you're doing. 
And with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it's actually saying to not uproot everything you've already done. Definitely continue to work, continue to, let's say for example, you started your own YouTube channel and you're like, you know, the graphics aren't where I want them to be. Instead of just completely throwing everything out, continue to grow yourself, continue to become more creative, more understanding of, you know, what you need to do to get there. If this is about writing a book, all because a few pages don't resonate with you, that doesn't mean you just scratch the entire thing. Take some time away from it. Let's say you started a project and you're frustrated with that project. Don't completely walk away from it. Continue to work on it. These are, this is definitely saying that the fruits of your labor are really around the corner. So they are so much closer than you think. It's just that a bit more work has to go into your project, your idea, your YouTube channel, your book, whatever it may be, just a bit more work. It definitely what I'm getting here is that over the next three months, you'll start to see trinkles of this, of the fruits of your labor. So you won't see it all of a sudden. It won't be like, boom, here's this. This is definitely going to be a consistent flow of abundance. Um, there are going to be periods in time over the next three months where you're going to have large chunks of abundance and prosperity coming in, though it feels very consistent. So it's not that, you know, it's going to end in three months. It's just that they wanted me to give you that time frame to help calm you down as you pursue this. This abundance and prosperity will continue on as long as you continue to put the work in. The moment you stop putting the work in is the moment that this abundance will start to decrease in volume. But the more work you put into this, the more you will receive. With this Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords in reverse, this is saying release any fears or worries. Release them because it's not going to benefit you at all because it's just going to cause you to stagnate. It's going to cause you to procrastinate. It's going to cause you to think no matter what you do, you cannot get anything perfect. And that is a straight up lie, okay? You guys are doing amazing. You guys are on the right track. You guys will find the muse that you need. You guys will find, you know, if you've been wanting to make money off of something, know that that will happen. But you have to continue to put in the work. With this Knight of Wands in reverse, this is actually saying don't be afraid to take time for fun. Do not work yourself to death. What I'm getting from this overall void for you guys, it's a mix of workaholism, but also a mix of depression as well, where things are not panning out the way that you thought they were, and it's discouraging you quite a bit. But that is because to get anywhere in life, there's going to be times where things are not always going to be perfect. There's going to be times where you're like, man, I wish this was different. But once you get there, once you get to a point where you feel that nothing is working out for you, that is when everything is about to work out for you. So <laughs> definitely, definitely keep on working. It is when you lose hope that you regain everything that you've been hoping for. It is when you think, I can't do this, that the freaking universe sends you the biggest gift. It is when you lose motivation that you receive abundance because you guys realize that this is not where you want to be. You don't want to be in this void where you'll lose motivation. You don't want to be in this void where you're unsure of what to do next. You don't want to be in this void where you're constantly worried about financial situations, your projects, what you are doing. You don't want to feel that you are uncreative or that even you're stupid. You guys want things to work out in your favor always. You guys are devoted. You guys are motivated. But this void is going to tell you otherwise. So when you meet this void, work around it. <laughs> oh, Lord. You guys have to fight it. You have to. Alright. How do we get through this? How to escape this void? We have the two of swords in reverse. That just confirms what I just said. And the seven of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> the moon. 
and the Empress in reverse. With the Fool, okay, they're actually saying turn the Empress upright. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. So, this is very, very good news. The only thing you guys need to do to get out of this void is believe in this message I'm about to give you. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to source. Your stagnation is going to come to an end very, very soon. Where we have the two, this could be in two days. This could be in two weeks, but it is not two months, okay? This even feels like, for some of you guys, two hours. <laughs> that is literally what's going on here. This stagnation is going to come to an end very, very quickly. With the seven of pentacles here, in the very near future, within the next seven days to seven weeks, in very rare cases, in seven months, all of the hard work that you put into your project, your idea, your channel, is going to pay off. It is, it really, really is. And I mean, you guys will be able to sit down and take a break. You guys have been working hard as hell to get where you wanna go. And within the next, for some of you guys, within the next seven days, weeks, or months, you're gonna be so financially set because of all of the hard work you put into this, that you will literally be able to sit back and freaking relax, okay? With this moon card, you may have had a dream about this project, this idea, and where it will be in the next few months. Listen to that dream and know that whatever numbers were given to you in that dream, look them up and also know that even though that was a number in your dream, know that that number can become multiplied. So definitely do not focus on the number in the dream itself, but do look it up in terms of angel numbers. But do focus on the fact that your dreams are trying to tell you that your hard work will pay off. With the Empress here, this is saying that you guys are giving birth to a new you. You're giving rise to new mindsets, new foundations, new energy, new power. You guys are on the right track to success. And I need you guys to know that you're on the right track to success, even if it may seem overwhelming now. Okay? Believe in this. You are on the right track. Whew. No wonder there was five piles each... This is so different from pile number one. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull one card from here. I will be reading reversals. And these are energies uh, or words of wisdom, tough love, or whatever. And we will get into it. So just one. Oh, it's in reverse. <laughs> so we have, so upright, it says, watch out, stuff could get ugly. But in reverse, this means that all that hardship, all the things that you've been look, looking out for, all the things that have been plaguing you are coming to an end. That is awesome. That is awesome, you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into... Let's do like maybe two of these, maybe one, we'll see. La, 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 la. Crown chakra, you guys. So connect with your crown chakra if you have not done so already. You have messages that want to be delivered. And then we have all never let go. Never let go of your dreams. Never, ever, ever, ever let go of your dreams. You guys are on the right path. All right, now let's do one self-care card. And this is self-care that you guys can do for yourself at this time to help you get through this void and get you where you want to go. 
Okay. So we have plan a vacation. And what I'm getting from this is work so hard for what you want that as you plan yourself a vacation, you can actually set a date for this. Like this doesn't have to be, you know, going to freaking Hawaii or whatever, unless you already live there, in which case, eh. Um, but this is about, even if you just want to drive up to the mountains, if you live near them, you know, go up to a cabin or go to a lake or go to the, to the ocean and relax there, whatever it may be. But definitely work so hard that whatever vacation that you've been planning for yourself, you can actually see it coming closer to you. So definitely plan a vacation, you guys. Plan a vacation and know that you'll be able to do it. All right, pile number two. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, I will, or personal reading or guidance on a personal or life goal, I will have that in the description. And if you would like to donate to the channel, it is not expected of you, but it would be greatly appreciated. All right, my loves, I love you all and have a good rest of your day. Bye. Hello, pile number three. So if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. All right, pile number three. We have this beautiful unicorn card. And this is about being your most authentic self. It's about being happy and connecting with your inner child. So with that, let's get into your reading. these really quick before we do. I feel like the energy needs to be reset. Ooh, come on. There we go. Okay. So, now. Alright, we have the hanged man in reverse. So something's coming to light. The King of Pentacles in reverse. The Judgment card. And the Nine of Cups. Okay, so in the past there has been a delay. Um, there's been a delay in terms of I'm getting abundance and prosperity. You guys may have been given a certain timeline, especially from like another tarot reader, and it hasn't happened, so you've been kind of wondering why it hasn't happened. And what I'm getting here with the hanged man in reverse is that there needed to become a realization. And with the hanged man in reverse, what I'm getting here is that you guys were striving for enlightenment, but in actuality, it was, there was an energy that wasn't where it needed to be, if that makes sense. Like this is kind of confusing here. But with this void, what I'm getting here is that t divine timing was at play and because you didn't receive this abundance, this prosperity, when you thought you would, it may have pushed you into this void. And this needed to happen for a spiritual awakening to happen. Whew, sorry, I thought I saw something just... Whew. Um, but this spiritual awakening needed to happen. So that is why there has been a delay. With the Nine of Cups here though, however, in the very near future, there is going to be um, emotional fulfillment, treasures, because we literally have a treasure chest beneath our feet. So in the very near future, you're going to um, have all that you've been asking for in terms of treasures, money, and material belongings, but also happiness and emotional fulfillment. So there's definitely going to be a time of prosperity. Things are just going to start raining down around you. That's the type of energy I'm getting from this. 
uh, for now you had to get through this energy sorry I just I realized is she beneath the water or above I honestly can't tell um, but with this card here with none of cups it's very obvious that she is actually but okay she's beneath the water she is actually beneath water here and she's actually rising up to the surface so very soon something uh, a message is going to resurface and it's going to be a message of that prosperity, that abundance you've been searching for, especially if it's financial uh, or in terms of a situation. A light is going to be brought to it and you're going to be a lot happier due to that. But definitely be patient because it's coming quicker than you think. That's too much. All right, yeah, so in the past, there was definitely stagnation, a delay with that Two of Swords upright. Ten of Wands, this talks about that energy that needed to be shifted, that needed to be released with that hangman in reverse. So this is kind of just clarifying. And then the Five of Pentacles, so definitely financial abundance coming in. So, angels, how do they escape from this void? The song playing in my head right now is The Other Side by The Greatest Showman. Um, go ahead and listen to that song and see what part of it resonates with you. But it actually feels like, oh, we have the Two of Wands on the bottom here as well. It kind of feels like a message is there for you guys. This lyric that keeps playing in my head is I'll leave that up to you. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles upright. Okay. How do they... She's so beautiful. You hey guys, isn't she so beautiful? She is magnificent. Okay. So it feels like there's something that you need to do to escape this. Okay, and as I said that, all the cards just flew out. <laughs> Just confirmation, you guys. Confirmation. So we have the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Page of Wands goes here, sweetie. Okay. Which will make a lot more sense. So, with the energy we have here, we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is about being more grounded tapping into that feminine energy, connecting with the goddess that you are, connecting with the earth. With the Nine of Swords in reverse, it's about um, having setting some type of routine before you go to bed so you no longer have to focus solely on your fears and worries before going to bed. So listening to affirmations or frequencies before going to bed to help relieve yourself of that Nine of Swords. With the Page of Wands, this is actually saying to learn something new. So if you feel that you want to learn something, definitely take the time to learn it as it will actually benefit you on the larger scale. With this Queen of Swords here, this is also about being more mentally strong and not allowing yourself to be thrashed by divine timing. So this is definitely about allowing yourself to flow with the divine timing rather than become upset when it does not work in your favor. Tarot is definitely one of those things where it's not always going to be 100% correct. So you have to be mindful of that. Uh, the amount of work you put into your desires to yourself can either bring it closer to you or further away. So the less time you spend on your desires on, on yourself, the longer it's going to take. And this may have been what caused this here, where you guys may have been putting your energy in the wrong place. And because of that, it led to this delay. 
So definitely focus on yourself, self-love, self-care, and put more effort into your desires so they manifest quickly for you. Definitely write down your manifestations, affirm those manifestations with yourself, and so on and so forth. Okay. Whew. This one was a hard one. But no, you guys are on the right track with that two of wands. This was meant to happen. It needed to happen, you guys. All right, so let's pull one of these. Uh, this is just either, it could, it could be either kind words or mean words, <laughs> but mean words are just tough love. This is not gonna say that you're, you're like a crappy a-hole. This is gonna be more like rise up type words, okay. Okay, so we had a lot of stuff coming out here, but we have get some effing sleep. So definitely take time to sleep, you guys. So whatever has been disrupting your sleep schedule, as I was saying, find ways to calm yourself down and feel more secure and grounded before going to sleep so you can release that nano swords energy. Okay. Let's do one or two from here. I'm exactly where I need to be. I'm exactly where I need to be. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? You wanted me to see that. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That's what love means to me. Okay. So we have chocolate, 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 and then watch a good movie. So for you guys, um, right below get some effing sleep. In terms of self-care, watch a good movie and eat some chocolate. If you like chocolate, if you don't like chocolate, eat some other candy that resonates with you, but definitely give your side, your time Give yourself some time to rest. <laughs> what you want is manifesting for you. Um, and while the message was to continue to work hard towards your goals, it's about balance. So definitely find balance in terms of working hard and rest, sleep, and play. And self-care. So what's one thing of self-care that you can do for yourself to help you along your way? So we actually got two of them, which I wasn't expecting. We got Dream Journal and Look to the Stars. So once again, this is affirming that your nighttime routine is crucial. So definitely find a good nighttime routine. Write down your dreams, you guys. Definitely write down your dreams. Write down what you're striving for. And look to the stars is definitely about, let's say you guys, it's, it's nighttime and you can't really sleep. If you are in an area where you can do this and you can do it safely, go ahead and walk outside and look to the stars quite literally. But it is also about looking to your astrological sign and see how it's being affected by the moon cycles as well. And see how whatever description may be there for your sign is actually enacting itself in your life so you can take the necessary steps to move through this energy. Now, all because the moon does affect your sign in a certain way doesn't mean it will for every single person the exact same way. For some people, they feel it less than others. Some people feel it more than others. So wherever you are on that scale, go ahead and understand that about yourself and work through that. All right, pile number three. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading or guidance on a personal or life goal, I will have that in the description. You can go to my website. And if you would like to donate to the channel, it is greatly appreciated, though it's not expected of you. All right, my loves, I love you all and have a good rest of your day. Bye. Hello, pile number four. So if you chose pile number four, this is your reading. All right, pile number four, let's get into your unicorn card. 
We have stop. Wait a minute. Let's understand why we have that. All right, we're going to go ahead and scoot your star down here. And right, let's get into the reading. Listen. Listen, listen. Listen. Listen, listen. This is not what I expected it to be. That is more than I could have ever asked for. Okay. more than I was expecting. Make sure nothing else flips. So we have the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Okay. It's a Magician in Reverse. Huh. Okay. So what I'm getting for pile number four I want to sing for you guys, but there's so many songs going in my head right now. Okay. Okay. So we have an opportunity coming in for you guys. That's, I just wanted to know that now. There's an opportunity coming in that you can't see just yet. So what I'm getting here, because we have the Ten of Cups upright, Temperance upright, Justice upright, the Queen of Swords upright, and the Knight of Wands upright. So the void that you're experiencing right now is less of a void and more of a disbelief. As in, there may be a circumstance where you could be in a relationship where this could be a friend, where you're trying to, or at least you used to, try to manifest more time with this person uh, manifesting having more deeper conversations with this person connecting more with this person sharing your thoughts your feelings and your emotions with this person finding balance with this person and just like just finding healing and growing with this person only thing is is that this person was not ready so you guys were definitely ready for all of it, but they were not. Because we have the Magician in Reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse, and Death Upright. So it's like this person may have manifested you, and you may have manifested them, but they weren't quite ready for their manifestation. Now this doesn't mean that the person doesn't love you or doesn't care about you. It's just that they manifested what they thought they wanted and then they realized all the work they had to put into themselves to really accept this blessing that you are. <laughs> You're a blessing, just letting you know. So they realized just how much work had to go into them, had to go into their financial situation. They see you as a person who is more financially secure than them, though this may be due to hard work rather than just blessings falling from the sky. And so this person doesn't really feel that they are where they want to be for you, especially financially. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, they very much feel like you guys can do better than them because they don't want to hold you back. That's why the, the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. And they feel that they may be holding you back to some degree, though that was definitely in the past, very early on in their relationship. And now that it's changing as they realize that a financial situation does not determine a relationship. This person may have in the past been around people who determine the relationship based off of the financial situation. So this person now realizes that a financial situation is going to change regardless of what you try to do. 
So they should not value this relationship based off of financial situations alone. So this is definitely the death that is happening here is that the person is realizing that a financial situation should not determine a relationship. This is definitely about something that happened in their life where they, it was very unexpected. But due to this awakening and realization, this person is now in the Six of Pentacles energy where they are ready to give and receive. Though what I'm getting here is that you guys have kind of been giving from the get-go and you guys have started focusing on yourselves here. So as this person came into the picture, they had you slightly on a pedestal, but now they're realizing your power. They're realizing, um, they're realizing that their focus should not be about you on a pedestal, but rather realizing you as the very powerful spiritual being that you are. So this person is changing their mindset even about you and they're taking you off your pedestal, I mean off their pedestal, whatever that, I don't know. And instead they are going to interact with you as the beautiful being that you are rather than treating you as this person who was unreachable, which has been their thoughts in the past. So there is going to be a give and receive in the very near future for you guys where this person is going to start allowing you to give to them and they're going to start receiving and vice versa. So definitely be open to this give and receive in the very near future. Be patient with this person. So this void could have very well been due to this person not being ready for you. But this void it needed to happen so you guys can focus more on yourselves, more on your power, more on your financial situation, building strong foundations. It was like this separation needed to happen so you can put your focus on other things. Whew. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And we have... It will lie to your face. So this person in the past with this old way of being was constantly lying to their face. It was constantly telling them how they weren't worthy of you and all this other bull crap. And they realize now just how much that was a lie because it is. Um, <laughs> you, you, have, you and this person have definitely manifested each other. And they realize now the importance of this relationship, whether it be an actual relationship or a friendship, and they're going to start putting in more effort in terms of emotional and physical rather than just financial, especially also spiritual. So also there's going to be some spiritual um, giving and receiving as well. So their focus is no longer going to be solely on financial. So you can expect to take some time with this person let's say you want to go someplace with this person like the beach or something like that this person is now going to be like hey yeah let's go we don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get there we can just go spend some time have some fun then go home like this person is no longer like oh i need to spend hundreds of dollars on you and i need you to buy this that this and that you guys didn't like that from the get-go is what i'm getting here because you guys didn't want a financial connection you wanted a physical emotional and spiritual connection and that's definitely coming in now for this pile you've definitely already gotten past the void is what i'm getting here or you may be on the verge of passing it through um, because this person is going to start coming to you now and you're going to start realizing a lot more and you're going to realize and be appreciative of all the hard work you put into yourself during this separation. Yeah, we have be yourself and the rest will follow. So this person is quite really learning how to be themselves without needing to be what they think you want them to be. They're no longer trying to hide who they are from you so you can feel happy and secure with them. And we have crown chakra. So this person's crown chakra is definitely opening up or it may have already opened up, though I don't feel this person is quite aware of it just yet, though it will show in your relationship, whether it's be a friend or a partner. All right, so I'm going to pull one self-care card, and this is about how you guys should focus on yourself at this time and allow this person to go through their, their thing. Okay. We have music. 
Oh, there's two. There's two. Okay, so we have music and we have use your hands. So definitely, sorry you guys. What I'm getting here is use your hands and music so you can make your own music. And it's funny that someone just walked by playing music. So you could make your own music in this time. Um, you can listen to music or you can just do something with your hands and listen to music at the same time, whatever it may be for you guys. All right, for my pile number four, I hope this resonated with you. If it did, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, I will, excuse me, if you would like a personal reading or guidance on a personal or life goal, I will have that in the description. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, it'll be greatly appreciated, though it's not expected of you. All right, my loves, I love you all and have a good rest of your day. Bye. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel. So if you chose this beautiful star or this unicorn card, this is your pile. So pile number five, your unicorn card is stop in reverse. So definitely movement coming in. All right, so what void are you currently dealing with? Well, I was about to shuffle, I just shuffled them like three times. Ooh, we have the King of Cups. Okay. Okay, I was thinking this was a love reading, but I was waiting to see. So I'm actually going to have romance cards for this one. All right, so what is up with this void here? Why are you guys in a void? to clarify why they're in a void right now. They're like, no, it's not going to be just one. Okay. Well then, can you please give me three? Is that, is that good? Okay, I said three and then you give me one. So four of swords, the prince of knight of wands, and the ace of wands in reverse. So all of these three cards are in reverse with the hanged man upright. Okay. So what I'm getting here for this is that a relationship has ended. And it has it wasn't something that you are manifesting. You were hoping to to try to work it out with this person. This person may have had a very strong masculine energy. And with the moon here, this person was definitely the type of person who reached out mostly at night. They may have worked a lot during the day. And with the lovers here, it was a very passionate, steamy relationship from the get-go. And everything seemed lined up to work out for the long run. But then we had the tower moment here. And this tower moment, was definitely one that was an end to this relationship with the four of swords in reverse this is talking about you guys released yourself from this energy so this is definitely something that happened in the past we also have 66 showing up here with a six of the lovers and a six of cups um with this knight of wands here you guys are definitely moving a lot slower in terms of possibly getting into another relationship and with the ace of wands in reverse you're currently not manifesting a relationship either so what i'm getting here is that the void may be that this relationship from the past may be trying to pop back up 
So this may be an energy where you, you kind of don't want to think about it anymore, but it's just popping back up and kind of just taking over your day, especially because it seemed like this person was the one and then it just kind of fell apart. So that's the current void. So how can you guys get out of this void? So we have the hangman upright. So definitely a change in perspective in terms of this. So what I'm getting is that you guys may actually need a change of perspective about the ending on why this relationship ended rather than seeing it as something negative, seeing it as something positive. I think you guys already know that if it wasn't meant to be, then it wasn't meant to be. But I feel like you guys also are wondering if maybe you were the issue. And I'm getting a yes and a no. It was an issue on both sides. So it wasn't that you were the issue. It was just that things were not being acknowledged deep within you. So subconscious programming within yourself and within your person that led to this breakup. So how can they get out of this void? <sighs> so with the world in reverse, I'm hearing it is never the end. It is always the beginning. So this was, they're saying that this breakup was not the end of something, but rather the energetic beginning of something new. So losing this person was opening another doorway, even though it's, it's a doorway that is very energetic in nature. It's not something that you can physically see. But I think you guys are definitely in a position now where you feel a lot better about yourself. You feel a lot stronger. You feel a lot more connected to yourself. Uh, you may no longer have the thoughts that you had while you were in that relationship, just kind of confirming as I was speaking. So definitely you're moving past a lot of these old energies, old mindsets, old thoughts from the past, and you're choosing to focus on brighter horizons. So to get out of this void, you guys, it feels like connecting to your feminine energy, connecting to your goddess, whether you are male or female, we are looking at energy here that is definitely needed, connecting with your inner goddess. And as I say that, we get the queen of pentacles. <laughs> so connecting with your inner goddess is very important at this time, as that will help you overcome these emotions of this void. You guys are worth so much more than what that person was giving you, even if it seemed like it was everything. There was something that person was not giving you. Yeah, with the page of cups in reverse. There was something that person was not giving you. Um, it almost just feels like time. They weren't willing to give you time. And we have the Ace of Wands in reverse repeating. Okay. So for this void, just connect with your goddess energy and that will kind of push you out of it. This is one of the quickest readings I've done so far as the rest of them have been kind of lengthy, though this one is very straight to the point. <laughs> And this is where that movement is coming in, you guys, where you guys are going to be moving into a whole new you, giving birth to a whole new you, where you guys will be feeling a lot more comfortable with yourself and you will no longer try to seek the greatest potential within yourself through the eyes of others. All right, let's choose one card from here. So... We have get some, give some. It will cheer your butt up. So this is saying that if you guys are currently going through this rough energy within yourself due to this breakup, be there for somebody else. Or this could also be saying that giving yourself what you needed in that relationship will also cheer you up. So if they didn't give you the time of day, give yourself the time of day. But and I'm also getting be there for other people at this time. All right. Crown chakra has been coming out for every single person, literally almost. I think it was just like for the first two piles it didn't come out. So crown chakra just flew up. 
And we have ready, set, go. Taking action, which goes about that, you know, that movement. So if you've been wanting movement in life, and we have strong vibration. So if you've been wanting movement in life in terms of financial stability, um, a home, friendships, whatever it may be, that is definitely coming in for you guys. Just be patient at this time. And let's do one self-care card. This can be a self-care thing you can do for yourself to really help you get through this void. And we have spend time with animals. What I'm getting with this, it's like saying cuddle up with an animal. Cuddle up with a dog or a cat if you have one. You may have a hamster, <laughs> whatever it may be. But definitely cuddle up, you guys. Spend some time with an animal. Go outside. Do like squirrel watching or bird watching. I do that every now and then. But definitely spend time with animals. That is so needed at this time. All right, for my pile number fives, I hope that resonated with you. If it did, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading or a guidance on a personal or life goal, I will have that in the description. You can go to my website. And if you would like to donate to the channel, it will be greatly appreciated, but it will not be expected of you. All right, my loves, I love you all and have a good rest of your day. Bye.